Greetings, my friend. Your presence here fills my heart with joy, and I'm deeply grateful for your attention. May God's blessings shower upon you, and may you all be in the best of health. This message is particularly meant for those of you who are navigating your spiritual journey, crossing the threshold into a new divine assignment. Remember this, there's a big difference between completing something spiritually and completing it in everyday life. It's like the story of the talents in the Bible, where different people are given different amounts. Some get five, others two or one, and some even get 10. What's given to you, your special purpose, might not be the same as someone else's. God reminded me of this important lesson last week. Stay focused, because what you're given might not be the same as what's given to the person you look up to, or even the person who's behind you, but might one day pass you. The most important thing, my friends, is to always keep your focus on God. God is saying you are in uncharted waters. This phrase carries a promise of astonishing growth, contingent on your divine measure. But beware, you're about to venture into unfamiliar territories. You're on the precipice of receiving the divine anointing, the holy sanction to embark upon the new mission God has assigned you. Many of you may tremble at the prospect, for this new task seems monumental, perhaps even something you've spent your whole life evading. The devil has exploited every moment, every weakness, to instill fear within you regarding this forthcoming step. The nature of this fear varies for each of you. It could be a dread of public speaking, or perhaps a terror of large crowds. It might stem from an inherent introverted disposition, or even an aversion to flying. Maybe it's the fear of recognition, a desire to remain unseen in the background. Regardless, God intends to liberate you from this self-imposed prison. The enemy has been ceaselessly employing your past to oppress you in this crucial moment as God propels you forward. The enemy uses your past to weigh you down, to induce despair, to launch mental assaults aimed at making you surrender, to exhaust you, to sow seeds of frustration. But God has a different message. He is amplifying your strength, your faith, your anointing to shatter this burden. Just like the Bible story where Peter steps out of the boat to walk on the water towards Jesus, God is saying that with His grace, you too can step into the unknown with confidence. In this story from Matthew 14, 22, 33, the boat represents your comfort zone and the sea symbolizes the uncharted waters or the unfamiliar situations you might be facing. The other disciples in the boat are like the multitude of people in your life, each preoccupied with their own tasks, potentially distracting you from your path. Despite the uncertainties and the storms that raged around him, Peter stepped out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus. Peter was able to walk on the water as long as he kept his eyes on Jesus. But when he became afraid of the wind and the waves, he began to sink. Just like how Jesus reached out his hand to catch Peter when he started to sink, God's light is there to carry us through our struggles and spiritual warfare. The challenges may come back, just like the waves of the sea. But with God's help and grace, we can overcome them and move forward. As you take the subsequent step, embracing what God has ordained for you, liberation awaits. He's calling many of you to your divine ministries. He's beckoning some from behind the lens to the forefront, to conferences, to speaking engagements. Many are being summoned to the front lines, to evangelize. Some of you are being ushered into rooms that intimidate you due to the high status or the reputation of the people present. But remember, God is impartial. God will open doors for you. He has entrusted you with a message, a divine word to convey to these individuals. Let's acknowledge the Holy Spirit's guidance here. If this message resonates with you, affirm it in the comments. God will place you in that room and His divine fire will ignite within you, guiding you on what to say. Your words will carry meaning, they will make sense, and they will be uncomplicated. This aligns with Luke 12, 12. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that time what you should say. God will provide you with the words to say. 
God wants to share with you that these uncharted waters signify unexplored aspects of your divine purpose. This phrase, uncharted waters, refers to something untouched, unexplored. Think of regions of the ocean that remain unmapped, uncharted territories, symbolizing situations or experiences that are entirely novel or unfamiliar. And this uncertainty, this unfamiliarity, has been the source of your fear. For far too long, many of you have been oppressed, your creativity stifled by the people around you, the relationships you were in. Whether consciously or unconsciously, you've held yourself back, reduced your own potential, Yet God is now declaring it's time for you to break free from these shackles. It's time for you to emerge in all your glory. God has been separating you from distracting influences, people, places, things. Yet the enemy has attempted to infiltrate your mind, seeking to perpetuate a sense of insignificance. But God reassures you that his divine spirit within you is far greater than any worldly force. There's a scripture I want to share with you that speaks to this very moment. You may be stepping into the unknown, into a calling where you lack experience, recognition or academic credentials. But know this, you possess the Holy Spirit. You carry the vision God has bestowed upon you. You've made it clear, written it down, and now you're running with it in Jesus' name. God is guiding you towards a destination, as expressed in Ecclesiastes 11. He's urging you to create, for this is a season of building. As the world around us, our nations, plunge further into wickedness and demonic influences, God calls for the establishment of His kingdom. He envisions a life for you that is centered in His kingdom, because this will transcend earthly confines and extend into eternity, all in Jesus' name. Indeed, our earthly deeds will ripple into eternity. For those walking in Christ's path, the fruits of our labor, the actions not born of flesh but of spirit, will earn rewards that withstand his purifying fire. This is the journey you're embarking on right now, a journey God is deeply committed to. God's mandate is clear, you must build. Don't dwell on the uncertainty of the outcomes. In fact, if you truly know it's God's work, there should be no uncertainty at all, for he is not a man that he should lie. As you lay down your life for him, trust that he will provide everything you need. Submission to his will gives him responsibility over you. So trust him entirely. Whatever illusions the enemy has been spinning in your mind, detach from them now, in Jesus' name. As the salt of the earth, you have the power to dissolve these lies. Reject every thought planted by the enemy that contradicts God's word right now, in Jesus' name. Now allow me to share a scripture. I've chosen two for today, starting with Isaiah 43. Two, it says, When you pass through the waters, when you pass through, I will be with you. Indeed, as the scripture says, when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, a symbol of spiritual warfare, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Turning to Hebrews 11:8. We're reminded that this journey requires faith, trust, and assurance in the Lord. His revelations are personal to you, even though the Holy Spirit guides us all as part of the body of Christ. Hebrews 11, 8 tells us, By faith Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. Like Abraham, you may not know where you're heading when you take the leap, there might be confusion because God does not reveal every detail, and that's okay. You don't need to know every detail. The Lord wants you to relish the journey. Stay focused on the present, not what's next in Jesus' name. As you dive into the waters, understand that this represents deliverance, resurrection, purification. It will lead to transformation in the next phase of your mission. It will foster growth in your identity as a follower of Christ. Many of you, currently in the throes of an identity crisis, are breaking free in Jesus' name. This is the path to accomplishing all that He has planned for you. Thank you, Lord. I pray this message has been a blessing. Revisit it to internalize it and share it with someone who might benefit from it, in Jesus' name.
My love and appreciation go out to you all with the love of Christ. If you're in a place where you need to repent, no matter what it is, ask the Lord for forgiveness and move on. God is unlike us. He doesn't hold on to things. Some of you, he's waiting for you to surrender, to ask for forgiveness, to let go. He's waiting for you to accept forgiveness, even for yourself. Stop being overly critical of yourself. Show yourself grace. Remember, God is also working on your patience. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we come to you with open hearts, filled with joy and gratitude for the gift of fellowship. We understand that each of us is given unique gifts and purposes, and we are not to compare ourselves with others. Instead, let us stay focused on you, trusting that the journey you have set for us is perfect in its divine design. Like Peter, we are stepping out of our comfort zones, ready to walk on waters of uncertainty and change. Even when storms arise, let our faith in you be unwavering. Strengthen us to keep our gaze fixed on you and not to fear the wind or the waves. In your strength, we are ready to face our fears and take up our divine assignments. We refuse to let the enemy use our past to hold us back. In the face of the enemy's lies and deceptions, we choose to believe in your promises. For you are the God who lifts us up, strengthens our faith, and breaks every yoke of bondage. As we take our places in the rooms you've prepared for us, let your divine fire guide us, empowering us to speak with wisdom and clarity. We lean on your word, Lord, finding solace that as we pass through the waters, you are with us and we will not be overwhelmed. As we walk through the fire of spiritual warfare, we will not be burned. Like Abraham, we step out in faith, even when we don't know where we are going. We are ready to grow into our identity as your children, breaking free from the chains that bind us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, Amen. Like the video and type Amen if you trust in the Lord. Click the link in the description to discover a limited time special offer on a life-altering technique designed to help you manifest God's blessings.